Welcome to the Cinematic S7200 video tutorial for free port communication. Using the function blocks XMT and RCV enables data exchange between the S7200 PLC and communication partners via the RS232 PPI multi-master cable. Information from a barcode reader, for example, can be received with the RCV function or a text message is be sent with the XMT function via a GSM modem. The task is to send a message via hyperterminal and received it with the RCV function via the communication port 0 of the PLC. However start and end of the message will be identified via given identification characters. The received user data as well as the message counters are represented in step 7 Michael Wynn via the status chart. The task is divided into the five steps which are described below. Step 1, generating the program code in Step 7 MicroWin. For the free port communication the control register SMB30 or 130 must be initialized depending on the used communication port. In Network 1 of the operation block you initialize the control register SMB30 for port 0. Select the following settings, no parity, A data bits per character. 9600 bits per second and activate the free port communication protocol. These settings are later adopted for the RS232 PPI multi-master cable as well as in hyperterminal. The special memory byte area 86 to 94 or 186 to 194 must be initialized depending on the used communication port to control the RCV function. In Network 2 you initialize the control byte SMB87 for receiving messages via port 0. Enable the message function and activate the detection of start and end characters of the message. In Network 3 you enter the start identification character and in Network 4 the end identification character for the message reception. In Network 5 you specify the maximum length of received messages as 14 characters. In Network 6 you initialize the calling of receive block RCV. Specify the start address for the data buffer and select port 0. With the RCV function every character is counted upon detection of the start character and written into the data buffer TBL. Upon detection of the end character an interrupt program shall be called which increments the message counter and copies the user data without start and end character from the data buffer. Exception by port 0 and enable the interrupt. Now go to the programming of the interrupt routine. In network 1 of the interrupt routine you increment the message counter VB0. The number of received characters is stored in the start address byte of the data buffer. To determine the number of the user data characters the start and end character are deduced from this in Network 3 the number of characters of the received user data is copied to the desired target address from the start address of the data buffer plus an offset of 2 due to the number of characters as well as the start detection character. In Network 4 the communication block RCV must again be called in order to receive the next message. Step 2. Communication Port Settings Go to the view of the system block. Set the board rate of port 0 to 9.6 kilobit per second. Step 3. Downloading the project into the PLC. Download the project into the PLC. Stop the PLC for the transfer. Place the PLC back in run mode. Step 4. RS-232 PPI Multi-Master Cable Setting Set the transmission rate to 9.6 kilo board. Select the protocol of the free port communication mode. Select the local mode and set 11 bits as the length of the data transmission block. Step 5. Send a text via hyperterminal and display the received text in the status chart. Open hyperterminal and assign a connection name. Select the used serial interface of your computer. Set the transmission rate to 9600 bits per second. Select no flow control. 
In the connection properties you open the ASCII settings. Activate the echo for character display in hyperterminal. Activate the table chart in step 7 micro -win. As long as the start character is not set, there will be no change in the status chart. Upon its detection the received characters will be counted and written to the date above. Upon detection of the end character, the number of user data will be calculated, the user data will be saved, the receive counter will be increased and the data buffer counter will be reset. Renewed reception of the start character, the data buffer is overwritten. Upon reaching the elected number of characters of 14, the message reception is also terminated. For more information about Simatic S7200 please visit us at siemens.com slash S7200.